Hmm. My outfit's kind of awesome today. I ordered coffee, and this is um, what I put on to go outside to get it. And I'm <laughs> look, at it look at your little feet hanging off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I don't find you attractive. Everybody finds you attractive now. What was that? Uh oh. Uh, but mean, back to the conversation at hand. I, I am sexy. <laughs> no, I was about to say, maybe one day we'll talk about um, the, I don't know if you're going to recall it, the hay incident. The me texting you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! 2016 um, slide, 2016. Literally. Bestie vibes only. Bestie, bestie, vibes, vibes, only. Literally bestie, bestie vibes, vibes only. Literally, bestie vibes only. Maybe one day. We'll oh, talk about that on the podcast. On podcast. Yeah, literally. Oh, um, we can, like, podcast. We'll say that for the podcast. <laughs> we'll do that for the podcast. I swear on my life. I swear on my mother's grave. Well, I swear on my brother's grave. I swear on my I, mother's urn. I, I was about to say, I swear on my brother's ashes. <laughs> So, you're probably like, what is this video? It's like any other video. There's nothing happening. Except I, my only goal today is to get into an outfit and be cute. And like, be actually cute. Because I know on my last few videos, I've just been on a whirlwind. Oh, do you me. hear that? Last night, literally laying in bed, I was like, there's an earthquake. I can feel it. Like This is I, earthquake I, weather. No, the thing is, I fell asleep and woke up and I was like, an earthquake is coming. And I sat in my bed fully Dude. tossed. I was like, I, I was like, I just know I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> <laughs> like, where I hate, I hate that we both literally have the same thoughts at the same time because I was laying in bed and I felt it shake a little bit, but I attribute it to Josiah like shaking the bed. But I was like, the earthquake's coming, like it's happening, Stupid. it's happening. Do you That's remember? The idea of you and Josiah sleeping in the bed is so funny. <laughs> I know. So yeah, my only thing is I want to get cute and like take an IG picture. Girl, you're already cute. <laughs> Should I just put some pick in this fit? No. Watch. I could look like Hunter Schaefer with her new bang moment. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the dog literally had something to say. <laughs> the dog is literally groaning. Ah! I was thinking, uh, what should I do? I should like do a little bit of skincare and then do a little makeup. I should like take care of myself first because um, I, I, haven't, I can't remember the last time I took care of myself. I'm to the point where that sounds like way too much work. Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh-uh. What the fuck? So but I gotta put on deodorant now. <sighs> what else do you need of me? I haven't been putting on deodorant. Girl, we know. I know. We I've know. Been, I've been sinking. We know. That's okay, though. Who's smelling me? Mm. But I will say I discovered something over the past few months that has made, like, skincare a little easier, especially because I have been breaking out. Okay, posture. <laughs> I have been breaking out. I found something that's a little helpful because literally I can use it and not be standing in the bathroom. That's what makes skincare so hard is the fact that you have to like go somewhere to do it. You have to bend over a sink. Literally, you have to like hunch over to wash your face and stuff and like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to put on a face mask that I have to then be like... <laughs> Ew, ow, my rib fucking snapped. And that's why... I'm here to talk about Foreo, mm. UFO 2. I gotta take off my shoes before I extra, I get, I'm about to get to extra chill mode with my Foreo. Yeah, yeah. that side's warm. I, okay, so it like, it gets warm and then cold. That's, that's what makes this awesome is because you know how usually for face masks you have to sit over a humidifier to open up your pores? Since this can make itself hot. It'll open your pores up so that you're actually, all your skincare is going in. And I keep mine in my drawer next to my bed because like I said, other than having to get up and clean this, I would like to stay in my room. Um, and I literally, this is the one I use the most, the Shimmer Free, but they have a bunch of them. But they have Call It A Night, Youth Junkie, Make My Day, and they all do different things. This one has Hyaluronic Acid, Collagen Slay ginseng and olive oil let's get into it let's get into it oh you also need your app to connect it but i already have mine set up and i'm already on shimmer freak you're, i shine bright like a diamond I, my shimmer freak i thought you were it's because you're a freakazoid so after your mask is on you literally just clip her on to secure her so she's not slipping and sliding all over your face because there is a lot of product on this and then you go to your mask you press start that's it it's that simple. The fun thing is because we're literally still on lockdown and you will not be going outside to get a facial. You can basically have a facial by yourself. And the fun part is, since you're all alone doing it, you'll be in prime comfort. This is me. Wait, this is literally me in prime comfort. 
Also, Drew has used this. Yeah, you? it's literally awesome. I love the cold. Oh, dude, the cold part is the best part, especially because mm -hmm. it's back to getting hot in LA, so our house has been so gross. <laughs> it's literally like a like a portable AC. <laughs> literally, it's an ice pack. Click the link in my bio if you want to join and take care of yourself. Think of it as like a late Valentine's Day gift. Oh, did you hear my ankle just break? Yeah. Should we show them me? Why would we do that? I think we should just show them me. They need a mental picture for the new sex you drew. Everyone knows what you look like right now. Your job no is one, to show your face. No one knows what I look like right now because I haven't been anywhere on the internet. I haven't posted on my IG story in like a week. You posted a picture of yourself last week saying I look so good here. Why is no one talking about it? The fact that no one's talking about any of this. <laughs> Shut up! Is, we literally just had a little to... celebration for your birthday and we all wore Drew's sexy, sexy shirt. It's like, we're going to be putting on deodorant. Hold on, let me rub my eyes. I got itchies. I got Azul eyes. Azul ass. <laughs> Ever since Eddie died, Azul's been really nice, if everyone was wondering. She's oh, cool. super lonely. How about you, now that she doesn't have Eddie to give her attention, she really needs us to give her attention, so now she's the nicest cat in the world. He's forgotten about me. He doesn't... He's it's because doesn't he, fell, he like, fell in love with me again. Oh, my Tebow. Go, go. I love you. I'm gonna put on kind of a simple outfit. Mmm. -hmm. Nice. I'll do something kind of simple. Do ne never look at me like that again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually just gonna put on a cute, simple outfit, but I don't know if this is the outfit I want to take IG pics to pick. Whoa. 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 Yeah. <laughs> um, but I have a cute outfit I want to put on. It's very simple, slay. What was I gonna say? Oh, before I do that, um, I wanted to talk about the like I recently started watching a show that I feel like literally no one talks about. It's called like what's it called? You've seen me watching it recently. Euphoria? No. Breaking Bad? <laughs> <laughs> like I just feel like literally no one like it, that show's been around forever. Girl, and yes. And we I've know. never once heard anyone talk about it. Stop. You know that. No, the thing is, like, because I was watching it, and I was just, like, going through Netflix, and I was like, what is this? So then I clicked on it, and I was like, it's not why cutting. have I never heard about this? Anyways, I'm going to put on this cute outfit. Do you always Literally, get aggressive. If I go into my closet one more time in a video, <laughs> I'm going to end everything. <laughs> Simple. Mm. The trouser, a 99 Mew Mew, and a Prada 2019 slay. That's cute. Yeah, I think that's the outfit. No, no jokes today. Let's get the real me. All tea, all shade. All tea, all slay. I'm trying to think. Actually, Drew, I think your job here is done. I think I want to have a little bit of intimacy with you. Ah, a little one-on-one -on -one moment. I know. I'm pulling you aside to give you your rose. Mm, me or the camera? The, the viewer. Oh. You're not getting a fucking rose. Go home, bitch. Well, okay. I'll set your stupid little camera up. You don't My have to set anything up for me. Stupid little camera. You don't have to set things up for me. I can do things myself. Are you gonna get out of the room or are you gonna be a freak? Let me grab my phone. Why is my case yellow in the room? Because you're the dirtiest bitch ever. <laughs> Dirty ass motherfucker. <laughs> we both have Orion's case with uh, case to buy. And look at Drew's versus mine. This is mine. Absolutely. This one's uh, mine and this one's Inya's. Mine That's is, not true. Look at our mine covers. So mine literally white. says my name. And Hunter and Lit Gang is not texting me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the last time I just sat down in front of a camera and did something as simple as doing my makeup. And that's why I kicked Drew out and I was like, you know what? Now is it the time to say this, but this is just how I feel right now in this moment. Mask off. Let's take the mask off, ladies. Not outside, but like inside. Let's reveal who we are when we're inside. Back to showing my big head on the internet. So embarrassing. One day, one day I'll get up here to like film just like me getting ready and you guys will all be like, oh my god, Enya. 
your forehead looks so small and I'm gonna be like yeah I finally did it I finally got a forehead reduction surgery that'll probably never happen I'm trying to think I want to like give a little bit of a life update what has any been feeling because I, I, I yeah I really can't I've not that I've secluded a lot of myself off the internet but I kind of have just because the past year I'm sure complaining about the past year from where I get to stand and like the privilege I have with the way the last year went I, I'm not complaining about it because I, I don't necessarily have complaints I was very lucky and fortunate in the way my year went but talking about it in any like way that isn't inherently positive always makes me feel like shit because I'm like oh dude I don't have anything to complain about like what am I complaining for um but to give a proper update I would have to like speak about my year personally lots of growth like I know Kylie Jenner said that 20 what 16 17 was a year of realizing but I like to believe that 2020 was our year of realizing she was just a little bit of head ahead of the curve um with saying that also, this isn't necessarily a tutorial. It's more like you're watching me fulfill my one task of the day, which is get cute so I can take IG pictures and then uh, sit in bed and do nothing. Because, you know, that's what we do nowadays. I'm trying to think, what's happened in the last year? In the last year, I am back to having acne. Um, I feel like within my channel, we've all seen my skin go through its like ups and downs. I think. It's like hormone, hormone, well, hormonal? I really can't speak. I think it's hormonal because I really haven't changed too much about what I eat and like my skincare. I haven't changed anything. I guess I kind of started eating chicken again, which I was like, this is chicken's fault. And then I stopped eating chicken again and it was still bad. And I was like, oh, I think I'm just now experiencing hormonal acne. Um, but I don't know if anyone else has this issue where I'm like terrified of going to a dermatologist because I'm convinced they're going to make it worse. Like I'm convinced my acne is going to get worse. It's not like going to clear up, but I'm going to be given the wrong things and I'm going to go to like a bad dermatologist and just experience worse skin, which I, I really can't handle. And also I want to say I'm very aware this isn't like... I don't have the worst acne ever, but to go from having like the clearest my skin had ever been um, to like now experiencing acne again makes me feel really insecure because I just, I haven't had this for quite some time, especially since when I became vegetarian, my skin really cleared up. Um, and then, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to stop eating fish though. This is literally just me ranting about stupid shit, but I would like to think that within me ranting, someone will relate because I know that like when I opened up about my skin issues on IG story, a lot of people related to that because yeah, I think everyone's skin's kind of fucked up past you. I'm like, let me get the smallest mirror ever so I completely cover my face and no one can see what I'm doing. But even with that being said, I still am not on my foundation shit. I can't get myself. I did have, I do have this Kosas face tint oil that I got when my skin was clear and I used to love it. Like during the filming of Field Trip, this is what I wore all the time. But now I'm like, that's not enough. Maybe I'll put a little bit on. Let's, let's go full glow. I wanted to like kind of talk about my channel that I'm never on. Anytime I'm recording, I'm like, what was I going to say? What, literally, what was I talking about? Am I making myself accidentally like paler than I already am? I get very pale in the wintertime. But then I've never been good with matching foundation. In the summertime when I'm like a little more tan, especially this past summer, I was lucky enough to be able to have access to a pool, which was like all I did last summer was just like me and Orion would go sit by a pool and like literally just lay in the sun because it felt good to be outside. Um... And I got pretty tan last summer. But even then I was like, all my makeup is too yellow. I'm always either too yellow or too pale. Um, but that's okay, you know, whatever. 
I actually might just be this pale right now. Oh my God. Alco taco, Alco taco seasoning. Also, my water has like little stuff in it, like dust. Um, mm, so good for immunity. Oh yeah, um, I wanted to talk about my channel. Just like that, I forgot. Just like how I forget to upload. I've never been very consistent but something that really shifted is I feel like my content had become more thought out and like planned in a comedic way and that was way easier when we weren't on lockdown obviously because I was going out and experiencing things and I could go out and film a lot more and I had like more ideas because I was more involved in the world and now like I'm sure as everyone feels the deeper we get into this and it's about to hit a year and it's like damn I, I just haven't necessarily experienced anything that's inspirational in a creative light and especially going from doing field trip which felt really creatively fulfilling and it made me really confident in comedy um to then being thrown back onto the floor and after working for something like that for my whole time on YouTube and getting it and then immediately having that drop was really like confusing I think for my brain because I still had so many ideas but then I was back to a space where I I can't fulfill all those production standards on my own especially my camera ran out of space <laughs> um Especially within like the world we're living like I can't I can't do that none of us can um, am I gonna put some concealer under my eyes I am always contemplating putting concealer on under my eyes and then every single time I've ever done it I'm like I fucking hate that now um, because it just you can't like I'll put some right here on I have this like large eye vein but yeah, I feel like you can't like half ass concealer under your eyes. You either have to fully commit or you can't do it. But whatever, that's just how I feel. I was really deep in on that rant I was just going on and I forgot. But yeah, basically it was just confusing for me. I think especially as a woman in comedy, I feel insufficient, especially because everything I do relies on the internet and I feel like it's not anyone's fault. It's like, if anything, it's my own fault. I don't know that I'm seen as, like, a woman in comedy. Which, I guess, is okay. But I would like to spend this year kind of driving my head into that more d diligently. I don't know, man. I don't know. But that's why... I, I, but it's, yeah, it's a lot. And then it's a lot because... Of course, like YouTube is like my main thing, but it's hard when I feel like I have to upload pretty consistently. Um, and I have to like also at the same time make a budget for myself if I want to do anything super interesting, but I also can't do anything super interesting right now because we're, I think I did make myself paler with that makeup because I'm like looking around here. Whatever, man, I'm just gonna keep going. But no, now I literally feel like I'm freaking out. Whatever, if I look bad, just listen to me talk. We're not here. Maybe I can warm up my skin a little. But yeah, that's what I want to spend my year doing. It's just, it's it's quite some, I'm like, it's a lot. I don't want to burn any guys with it. But yeah, that's how I, I it's not like I want to abandon YouTube, it's just hard. I think it really is just kind of difficult to go from doing field trip, which a lot of people ask questions about. It ended because of quarantine and we can't do it. Like, that's kind of it. We just can't do it and we separate, we went our separate ways. Not me, Josiah and Drew, but us and the, that company that did it. Went our separate ways and there's not much, there's not anything more to it. Um, but yeah. Which, that, that just sucked, because it was like, fuck. Like, I feel like we were just getting into the groove of like, okay, here's how you do this. Like, that's awesome. But, you know, again, I'm not about to sit on here and like, 
complain my ass off. I know, I know how lucky I am in the long run. But yeah, I want to do that. I know me and Drew have been talking about it forever, but podcast is coming up. It is, it is working out. Um, even with that, I'm almost like, I have an issue where I think everything I have to do, everything I do has to be this like grandiest venture and I have to like perfect it. But like all that does is keep me from doing things because I'm like, oh, I want this to be perfect and like everything it could possibly be. But I have to learn that if I want to do anything, I have to like let it grow naturally and let it fall into place more naturally because what then I just like hoard everything off and I'm like this will like when when it's ready it'll be out when it's ready it'll be used but on the positive note um I've gotten really into clothing which that's been a fun thing for me um a lot of you might know my friend Elisa um who has like a really cool depop shop and um uh, me and her have found a new love for clothing and photography, which a lot of you know I've always been into photography, but I've been in the past year doing like a pretty good job thanks to like a lot of new people I met. Um, I've done a really good job of like collecting things that inspire me and like diving into more photography books because I didn't own any photography books or like comics or like like illustration books. I, I didn't own books. That's something I've learned this past year. I've learned to find the clothing that inspires me and also books and things. Little things. A lot of you might have noticed my room fucking blew up in the past few months, but just because I was like, huh. Turns out I like a lot of things, but I just wasn't like giving them money. I'm also, I know I say this every single time I make a video, it will be the vein of my existence. I'm growing my hair out. I've decided I want to grow it out. I'm not gonna cut it. I was really contemplating going back to a pixie cut, but then I was like, I want long hair, especially because I'm like not very secure in my skin right now. That was like one of the issues when I had a pixie cut as I was starting to break out and it was like really hurting my feelings. No one was saying anything to me, it's all in my brain. Um, I was hurting my own feelings by being like, God, I'm breaking out. I'm not as pretty as I used to be. You know, the usual, the usual hardships of womanhood. Sorry, I need to get a beer under. I, you, I always film and I treat it like it's a live stream. Like I treat it like, like someone's watching me in real time. And I'm always like, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna like go grab this. And I usually cut it out because I'm like, who the fuck am I talking to? I'm literally filming a video that... I have to edit, like what am I talking about? But yeah, that's like kind of my update. I know I haven't like been talking a lot about what's going on in my brain um, because I think I'm trying to figure it out. I'm also trying to figure it out. And like the past month has been pretty hard as a lot of you know, my cat Eddie passed away, which was super, like sudden and very scary and upsetting as it sh fucking should have been it fucking sucked i'm always like sorry if this video went downhill it's not as fun but i don't know man i don't know man i don't always have to be in my little weird character that's always arguing with drew i guess i guess that's my fears i'm like oh like in order to be the best comedian I can be, like, I have to be, like, in this, like, character and mode all the time. But I enjoy being a multifaceted woman. But I guess that's what happens when men exist. <laughs> and you get told that, like, being a certain way is, like, corny. But I'm trying to go against the grain of that idea. Um... Cause like, dude, I fall so victim to like being worried that my peers or people I like look at, I'm like, they're cool, think I'm corny. And I think I, I run into that a lot. It's not something I talk about, but like what I run into a lot, especially as a woman on the internet, when I'm interested in certain things, I feel like very shut down by other people who are interested in them because they look at me and they think, oh, this like 
fucking cornball doesn't actually know anything about this thing or like like this thing actually um which is really upsetting and i i don't even think that has to do with like my the, i think that's just like the woman experience in general is like there's like this belief that like the thing you're into you're into it for some ulterior motive and that you don't actually have a love for art or fashion or photography that it's like oh what are you doing this for and it's like bitch i'm doing it because i like it i will fucking shoot you man oh man this video is heavy um but yeah like i was saying my cat died yeah that fucking sucked i know i think a lot of people are still kind of confused about it but when i got eddie she was sick i adopted her and there wasn't a lot of medical history that came with her the only thing i had known is that she had an ear infection when she was younger and her vaccines were up today so i was like cool awesome um then it was getting around the time when i needed to take azul to the vet and i had kind of been eyeballing eddie and noticed that she wasn't gaining a lot of weight um but other than that she seemed super healthy she wasn't like a lethargic cat she her bowel movements were fine. She wasn't throwing up. She didn't have any signs of like what usually is like, look out for this for your cat because it may mean they're sick. I made both of these necklaces like the same height. Or no, I didn't. Um, so I didn't think anything of it. But then I, I did realize, I was like, oh, she's not gaining weight, but she is eating, which I thought was so odd. I was like, why isn't she gaining weight if she's eating? Um, and then I took her to the vet and they were immediately like, oh, this isn't good. We assume she has FIP and, um, we're going to have to keep an eye on her. And if it gets worse, you'll have to take her to an internalist. But for now, like, here's a different food you could get her. Like, try feeding her a little extra so that she can gain weight. And if she doesn't, it was just like one of those things that was up in the air. And it was like also super confusing to me because I feel like, Part of me looks back and I feel really stupid because I'm like, oh, I, I should have, I could have done more and I like should have tried harder, but it was really such a guessing game and yeah, I don't know, man. I had scheduled to take her to an internalist and a week before her appointment, she, I woke up on, oh, I'm going to cry. Whack. Basically, she, for the, her past, fat, whoa, ugh. for her last few days when she was here, she wasn't doing really good. Like, she, she was, like, meowing a lot more than usual, and she wasn't eating her food, and she wasn't, like, a super vocal cat unless she was hungry. She would be, like, meowing a lot, and I had a feeling she was, like, not feeling good. So then I had booked the internalist because I was, like, she's not looking good anymore. Like, it used to be a thing of, like, We'll keep an eye out for it, but then she started looking bad, so I was pretty worried, and I booked the internalist, and then one morning I woke up, and she was just like, she was just on my bed, and she, she was peeing everywhere, and I was like, dude, I feel like she's having kidney failure, and then um, one morning I woke up, and she always slept with me, and she had slept with me, but she peed, I think, in her sleep. She, like, just couldn't hold her pee. And she was like sleeping in her own pee and then i like woke up and like moved her and i went back to sleep because i was like oh it's so odd that she peed like that when i woke back up she looked not good because this i woke up originally at like 7 a.m and i was like whoa um, and i went back to sleep um but yeah and then i took her to the vet and it was just a thing of like yeah i, f I feel like i haven't like talked too much about it because I, in my head i'm just kind of like there's not much to it or I don't know it still fucking sucks it's so weird when a pet passes because it's like it's not like your pet like I don't know I'm trying to think of a way to word, word this it's like when humans pass you can like this is so dumb but it's it's just how I feel and I feel like I'm sure other people feel like this you can like go through their like social media and like you have all these like you have words there's like words they left you with and like if not you they like left behind writing and like the things they like and um clothing they like had a life they were a 
because it was a person they there is so much depth to it but like when you have a cat it's literally just like the the depth to it is the connection you have with it which i guess the same could go for people but i don't know like it, it, it's like people have their like smells and like their antics so, well i guess cats have their antics but people have their like smells and like their favorite shirt the shirt you saw them in all the time like their favorite movie that you can like watch or like their favorite song a song you guys listen together all the time things like that and then when a cat goes it's literally like i came back to my room and i was like it's like she was never here which is the craziest part like there wasn't like i had to like move her stuff around it's like she's just whack but yeah super fucking weird I've, I've i've also never experienced like i've never had my own pets that were just my pets growing up we had like family pets and those pets we had for like quite a long time i didn't even have eddie for a year which makes it even weirder especially in the climate of this past year so much of his of it has felt like not real so that felt that still feels not real it feels like i didn't even have her and so many people because of like lockdown and stuff so many people in my life never even met her so part of me is like am i crazy did i fucking dream that cat up like it's not real it's insane but yeah that was like so confusing and not an awesome experience i hope no one has to go through that but i know a lot of people go through that because i feel like even that week a bunch of y'all had gone through that so i also like not to be one of those like i'm a f i have my fur babies but dude the connection i had to that cat was unreal it's like it is like I, the, the way you can have such an intimate connection with something that literally never said a word to you. The fuck? What? Like what? I don't understand. I think also because I had gotten Eddie in like such a vulnerable time emotionally that I had like a very, it, it's like Azul. I got Azul at a very emotional time in my life too. It's like with anybody's cat. And I was just starting to feel very like secure in my like mental and emotional state. And then that kind of really threw a wrench in my plans. Oh my God, my camera is dying. But yeah, I guess there's not much to say about that. That's that on that. A good old crying video. When's the last time I cried on camera? Like three years ago, two years ago, we were due. Yeah, we were long overdue for crying. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna finish my eyeliner situation and I'll be back. So, it's a, it's a little dark, but I'm cute now. Now I look like a representable a presentable i don't know the word <laughs> now i look like a presentable young lady now if you saw me in public you would think wow this girl is so fucking cute what does she do for her job and you would be surprised to know that i sit in front of a camera and i cry about my dead cat for a living that was that thank you for being my little therapist thank you so much look at you you're so cute you're so cute listening to me vent you're the sweetest I hope it wasn't too venty. I just wanted to be a little more open and transparent about what I've been up to, where I've been. Mental health slave. I've talked to my therapist more times the past two months than I ever have in my whole life. And that's that. And I'll continue talking to her because it's awesome. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated. That was that. I'm so... I don't, I don't know why I feel so bad. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry if this video wasn't as funny as like it usually is. But you know, I have layers. Okay, okay I need to go. I'm gonna take IG pictures. Um, when I post them, fun, oh my God, fun activity. When I post them, be like, I was there for that. Kind of, maybe. I might not be wearing this top though, so you'll have absolutely no idea um, which photo will be the photos I take tonight. 
But if you're a good guesser, you'll know. And I'll see you. And you will win $10 if you guess right. I'm kidding. I'm not doing that. Um, have a blessed day. Live, laugh, <laughs> and love yourself.